we hopefully have some time to talk with you here, Steve. We've got Steve Genenbacher with us of Christian Brothers Automotive in Huntersville. Uh, Steve, you're a fairly recent owner of this uh, this uh, place, right? How long how long you been involved in that? Uh, yes, I am. I just took the, this location over uh, first week of September of this year. Okay, Steve, let's let's kind of back up a little bit because there's so many people that want to do what you have done. Let's hear your story. How did you get in business? You know, here you are sitting on a on a spectacular radio show awesome. talking talking about um, Christian Brothers Automotive. How did you get here? I mean, you know, you don't have to go back to 1963, but but sort of give me an idea of how this this happened. Um, well, I was self-employed in the automotive business uh previous life i call it i moved here uh, late 97 from illinois and uh i was in the automotive business then in the same business now i owned a couple of shops i owned a couple of service stations an auto parts store and uh in in the 97 me and my wife got uh tired of the illinois winners and decided that (laughs) we were gonna pack up and go somewhere else so uh, my second love was racing um being self-employed it gave me the uh, opportunity to to race uh on the side and uh so if i was going to leave and and follow something different racing was going to be it so we ended up in north carolina and i have been working in the nascar racing business since uh, 98 since we got here until last year um i retired out of racing last year and uh started pursuing uh, a new venture to be self-employed again. So what made you decide on uh, Christian Brothers? I, I searched quite a while for, for what uh, I was going to uh, spark my interest and mm-hmm. really say this is it. Um, and I, I looked at a few things outside of the automotive business and and because uh, I'd been doing it my whole life. Um, but I came across Christian Brothers um, in that search and uh, there was just something about them that attracted me to it. So I contacted the home office that it won't hurt to talk. And once I contacted them and we, we started that conversation over a few months, um, I just really liked everything they had to say. And, and uh, so I had them, I, I got a hold of some of their franchisees and really, really impressed with what they had to say about the company and working with them. And um, so I, I just was uh, I was drawn to this business. You know, it, you have done something that very few people do, which is start your own business for many years and then go to a franchise. Mm-hmm. Talk about some of the differences between the two, because most people don't want to do that. You're right. And it was a big, big decision. Um, did I want to really get says a lot about the franchise or mm-hmm. that you that you made that choice? You're right. And that's exactly it. Um, I was not looking for a franchise. Um, I had been independent for for 20 years previously, um, knew that if I wanted to be on my own, I, I knew I could make it on my own. Um, so I wasn't looking for a franchise. But the more I spoke with them and the more I spoke to the other franchisees, and said, okay, if I'm going to get back in the automotive business, take a real hard look at where it's at today compared to when I was in it years ago. And the industry has changed so much. That is such it's a so much smart different statement. Yes. That I found it to be a huge advantage to be involved in a franchise, especially a good one, versus trying to be an independent in today's today's market you know we want to we want to get into that a little bit more but i have to make an admission that was until i did a little research on this i always figured christian brothers was a couple of brothers whose last name was christian tell you the truth and it, it ends up being christian brothers they weren't they weren't familial if that's the right word brothers they actually met through a church as i as i recall it and and so i'm i'm you know i'm listening to the question that joe asked and i'm thinking yeah, one of the differences must be the culture somehow with the way this thing was formed. Is that a is that a true statement? That is very true, very true. Um, and there again, that's probably one of the uh, big things that drew me to this company um, was it, it. We get this that question asked a lot: where did the name come from? And it was uh, a pair of very good friends that attended the same church that decided they wanted to go into business together. This mm-hmm. was thirty three years ago, mm-hmm. and they built this automotive shop and. They chose the name Christian Brothers because of their relationship in church. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, it, uh, the home office, the company is still operated on those uh, that uh, faith value. And that's Let, 
Let's talk a little bit about employees because, you know, your your business is so challenging because I know a little bit about it, and you've got all this capital investment on the front end, and it is so labor-intensive also to be able to provide that service. The service you provide, in fact, is labor-related. Talk a little bit about that because that's not easy to manage, especially in this day and age. No, it's very tough. And they're, again, looking at the automotive business and and back to the question of why a franchise. But to find qualified technicians uh, today to work on today's vehicles, which are so very complicated, it's very hard. Um, it's a it's a process that we never stop doing in our business. Even though I may have all the employees I can use right today, I am always still looking for more um, because you never know when something's going to happen to one or one's going to move or or if you want to expand. It takes such a long time to find the qualified people that you always have to be actively uh, looking yeah, for. Yeah, and I have to assume the, the 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 you know the wrench monkey of the later days that's gone, man. I mean, it, it's it's high tech electronics now. Yes, that is that is exactly right. Um, th- th- that's why we don't uh, even call them mechanics anymore because it's so far beyond that realm. They're they're technicians. There's a a lot of training, a lot of hours that goes into becoming one and then becoming certified and then actually maintaining that certification. Uh, we have our technicians are in training all the time. Yeah, I, I because these cars are just con, I mean continuing to to change. Let, let's talk a little bit about uh, where your location is, and if they want to reach you, how they can reach you. Yeah, we're relo- we're located in Huntersville, North Carolina, at the intersection of Highway One Fifteen, which is called Old Statesville Road, and Seventy Three, which is Sam Fur Road. Okay, and what's the phone number? How can they get hold of you? Our phone number is seven zero four seven two seven zero eight zero eight. Okay, great. Hey, last question, because we always ask everybody, and you're in a very competitive business. I mean, there's, I don't know, I don't remember the area that well, but there's got to be an automotive place, you know, within a stone's throw. Um, So I hear about the internal culture and the great Christian brothers and all that to the outside, outside perception. What is it about you that makes them want to come rather than go to your competitors? Um, Well, uh, just a quick story about that. Christian Brothers, um, their kind of their tagline now is uh, for the last few years is nice difference, and where that came from wasn't from the home office or either in, from the franchisees. What they did is a few years ago they went out to all their customers and did a survey, all the franchisees, and said, "Give us just a couple of quick words or a short sentence of why do you do business with Christian Brothers? What do you? What is it?" And the common theme that came back from that was it's a nice difference so um, the company picked that up as their tagline Christian Mm -hmm. Brothers Automotive nice difference and how that is developed is is we like to build a relationship with our customers we don't want them to feel like they're just another vehicle in and out of our shop first we like to build that relationship get to know them get to know what their needs are and then we can figure out a way that we can best help them and ownership involvement. If I read the read the very the material much so. right, that uh, very much you're so. there and you're you're leading the charge to for that relationship. That is correct. Yep, very and much. And that's so. important. I mean, it's really important for the guy or gal that, that absolutely wants to get their car worked on. That if they've got a problem, they can walk in, knock on the door, and say, "Hey, man, I really want to talk to Steve." Yes, we have a shuttle service we run all the time. And uh, I do that so that I can spend that time with our customers. Uh, we know we know having your car worked on is an inconvenience. And so uh, there again, one of our main goals is to make it as little of inconvenience as possible for you. So if you, you're a soccer mom and, and you, you need to drop kids off or you need to go to the store, we'll shuttle you wherever you need to go while your car is being tied up. And so that gives me time to spend uh, that that oh, time idea. with them mm-hmm. um, to to get to know them and build that relationship. Christian Brothers Automotive, a nice difference. Did I get that right? That is correct. Christian Brothers Automotive. Steve, thank you so much, my friend.